Hey, Rocky Peak, it's great to be with you. We're actually uh, underground right now in a tunnel. This is a site I've never shared with you in via video, but I'm really excited to be here. Uh, we're at a location that's called Tel Megiddo. It's actually a World Heritage Site. It's one of the most famous tells, perhaps the most famous tell in the history uh, in the whole world because it has 26 different levels of civilization that goes way back into ancient history, one built on top of another. But we're here right inside of uh, the water tunnel that was just chiseled through the rock so that during a time of siege when our enemy army would come, the people would be able to go down under the earth through a tunnel to a spring of water that was outside the city but camouflaged and hidden able to access that water and take it back up so they could continue the siege and not run out of water uh, for the city. And so you can imagine the work as you look around you, the chiseling here on the stones that it took to uh, pull this feet off, just amazing. But one of the stories I love about Megiddo, Megiddo was one of the three um, big chariot cities of King Solomon. So he had one in the south at Gezer, one at the north at Hatzor, and one here in the middle of the country at Megiddo. And these would be like modern day military installations where the chariots would be held. Chariots were much like tanks in ancient warfare. They were a tremendous source of power. So anyway, uh, Solomon, uh, it's a crazy story because you know he started off so brilliantly asking God for wisdom, not for riches, for fame, for power, or victory over enemies, but only for wisdom. And God blessed him. He said, I'm going to give you that and all the, uh, so much more. But uh, as he went on, Solomon began to disobey the clear teaching in the book of Deuteronomy about kings. Don't go back to Egypt for horses. Don't multiply silver or gold. Don't marry foreign wives. Don't turn your heart away from Yahweh. And he did all of that. And so this man who was so incredibly wise ended up his life tragically uh, rebelling against God and actually building altars to foreign gods right outside the temple in Jerusalem on the Mount of Olives, worshiping even gods of like Molech, that were you to offer your children burned in the fire. So such a beautiful or tragic illustration of the principle we often talk about the dimmer switch when you start turning away from god not listening and following how one step can lead to another and you can end up in a far and distant land and so here we are i'm going to walk you through this tunnel as we we just reflected on that compared the story of solomon to one of his sons who would come much, much later, Josiah, who is a man who sought the Lord with all of his heart and led the, the nation in a national revival, cleansing the whole nation of all their idolatry. And so here we are in this tunnel. It's been an amazing, fun, uh, fun trip under. It's been pouring rain on the outside. So we're all excited to go underground and uh, get out of the rain, but, but see this ancient wonder here at this World Heritage Site. So God bless, and I'll see you soon.